something I'm kind of a great big deal, and it's because of the fact that these lenses of yours perceive me, mm, I don't really know, but this is the things that I would do if you were to say that, Ethan, I actually love and adore you and want your attention and affection. Well, okay, 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 okay. Now, my favorite thing to view is you. Absolutely. Adore, I don't give a fuck. I walk in my bathroom door, shit and piss, and I just want to be around you. I absolutely love to surround my time and energy, basically immersing with you like we Siamese twins. I just want to blend into you. No, I'm not clingy. <laughs> you can leave, but where are we going? Now, how many people are going? Head east on East Wackerly Road toward Cheryl Lynn Lane. I'm just telling you. I enjoy our time and company, and I will never leave you without at least telling you. And if it wasn't because I have to make money, I would never leave you. But because I have to make this, I guess I'll, oh, I'll be back. Because you're here. And wherever you are is where my happiness is. So I guess it's time for me to go out in this community cold-heartedly. I see these people, but I don't know what these words mean. Babe. What are you telling me? Darling, are they flirting with me? I'm confused because, yes, you are my favorite view. Oopsie. I did look. Just for a second. Just wanted to make sure. No threat. Okay. Like, they ain't got a gun. And they ain't trying to swing on you. I had to make sure, boo. Babe, this place dangerous and I love you. So, of course, defensive I am. Not always. But more than less, I will protect us. I will care. Less about me, more about you. And I try not to be overly like, no, you can't. You can do what the fuck you want to. But please take my thoughts and feelings into consideration when I say I don't like when other people touch you. In certain places, like clearly they can hug you. Clearly they can pinch your cheeks. But no, they can't pinch your cheeks. Those are mine. You know, them firm buns you sit on, them lips mine to kiss, but they can kiss your cheek. Maybe. Who are they? And how passionately do they love you? I'm the one that's supposed to be giving you all the passion. Of course they can love you. Of course they can see you. But when it comes to intimacy, baby, come to me. And if you're not coming to me, then just leave. Why the fuck would you hold on to me if you don't love me? I'm just asking for my own sanity. It's all right if you don't love me. But why hold on to me? I could be so much happier. I could be so much more. I, 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 yes, of course, I'm thinking selfishly because I love me, you love you, and if we can love each other, well, that might be beautiful. But if we battle each other, well, that might be horrible. And I don't want to create more horrible things. I'm out here to create beauty and spread peace. So if you don't continue the peace that's in me, if you sign up for the war, that I don't want to continue, but it, it does exist. Then, of course, it's only smart of me to discontinue our interactions, our negotiations, our time, because it is self-hatred to love you. Unless you're the one that loves me like I love me. Unless you love you, too, like I should be number two. You should be number one. Because I'm number one in my life, and you're my favorite second one. I love me like you love you. And for the fact that we're lovely people that love each other first and then us second, then shouldn't we fit? So many different love languages. Even if we don't, we're not toxic about it. Oops, sorry. I thought we could communicate. And if we can't, well, that's fine. And for the fact that we could split without degrading each other's personalities and characteristics. Like, yeah, they weren't perfect, but they were still great. Just not mine. Just not my molded character. I know I'll find mine. They were great. But it just wasn't the time. And that's why I expect to be. Anticipate. I try to create a perfect version of me. But to be perfect is to be authentic. And to be authentic is to be. To be authentic is to be. To think before you do, but to know that you did because you wanted to, and not because you wanted something. To do from love. And some people don't accept the way they are love, and that's fine. There are many love languages. So when you accept my love, I will give it in abundance. Yeah.